Morning, I'm on farm shop opening duties. Big pile of geese. Anyway, this part of the shop is a new bit that's getting built. I'm not sure how the lights work because I'm trying to find a switch to turn them off. It must be a motion sensor in here um, that triggers the lights, but they're not turning off. And here's a motion sensor. Right, a box is in here. All right, job done. Let's go feed some coos. Morning, just fed the calves and this lad is in a new pen and I don't know how he's got here. He used to be in that pen and now he's in this pen where Euro used to be, so he must have he must have jumped over that. You can see it's couped over. But you you've been jumping fences, you bandit. Cavies are all doing well. I've just been keeping an eye on them for sweating along the back because it is quite mild, but I've not noticed any and they all seem to be in good health, so fingers crossed that continues. You mind? Come on. Get moving. Come on. This is the fifth box we're on to and this is the first nice logs we're chopping. Some big rounds off of a piece Kev just cut. I'm ignoring all these bits because that's so much nicer to cut. Doesn't take much and then boom, cracks right open. It's not stringy, it's not joined together still. So much nicer. It's just bang. Makes such a difference, speed things up. What type of wood is this? No idea, I don't know my types of wood. Seems fairly hardwoodish. Hardwood's got really tight rings, hasn't it? That looks pretty tight rings, hardwood. Which type of hardwood, I don't know. Doesn't take long to fill a box when you're cutting wood like that. Big bits coming. Let's see how we get on here. Hey, dogs. Oh, lovely. Hey. There's a dog up there somewhere. There she is. Good morning, it is farm shop opening time. Bright lights. We have been looking into more solar panels actually. I think we're on a 14 pence tariff at the moment due for renewal next year, maybe something like that. But you hear of people getting quotes for anywhere from 60, 70, 80 pence a unit up from 14 pence. So it totally brings back the viability of, of solar panels again. Um, so we're just speaking to a few companies at the moment and figuring all that out. Anyway, off to the coos. Actually, I need a jar of jam. What jam? Christmas jam. What's in Christmas jam? Cram uh, cranberries makes sense. Cranberries, strawberries, orange, orange zest, cinnamon. Right, we'll try that. Open jam all made on site. Christmas hampers, ideal Christmas presents for all the men that come flocking in on the 24th, it's brilliant. I was just about to head back on the road and the Harbour lorry arrived, which was lucky. I had totally forgot he was coming. I need to go and set up for him to make some hen feed. So that was lucky timing. It is incredibly mild. Another tune by Pure Radio. Anyway, limestone. Minerals, soya oil, and another banger. Still I can't close my Right, we're good to go. Soya, wheat, limestone, mineral oil, no, soya oil, minerals. That's just perfect, it gets reversed in there. Two big silos to fill up, job done. It's currently 12 degrees, it's to get up to 16 today. Middle of November. Weird, weird. Fields are looking very green.
situation. Hey, there's light, there's the hard roll mixer. I'll wait to fill up another hopper. He's even shut the door and turned the lights off. Thank you very much. Blowing a hoolie today. Jesus. Oh, yeah, a bandit. It's like a kite. The wrap that was hanging off must have uh, switched the valve position, so now the headstock's falling off. Looks quite peculiar because I'm not attached to it, but I can open and close it. Anyway, I can put it back on. Thankfully, it fell off in that position and didn't break the pipes. The wrap that was fleeing about in the wind must have caught that, switched up to there, and then that allows the oil flow back to these rams. So the pins came out and hits the, and the grab fell off the headstock. Attempt two. Better. I think we've all on the farm had a go at breaking these hydraulic pipes, sometimes more than once. Halfway through this pile and we've done how many have we done five six seven boxes so yeah 14 15 boxes there thereabouts the wind is outrageous today almost done another box box number eight we're getting there these were my cheap 10 pound boxes what a deal ideal for logs drag race we've had a toy delivered you'll see that in tomorrow's video but what is it have a guess down below i'm looking at it right now it's red. It's got a bit of green on it. Here's a wee picture. Here's a clue, actually. That's what you get to see. Have a guess. What is it? That's the only picture you're getting to see. It's got some hydraulics on it. It's got a three-point linkage. And it's a demonstrator, so... And also, if you think you know what model it is, go for it. Oh, and a bright orange tractor brought it here. That'll give you another clue. Opinions on the colour. I'd love to know... If it was like Vulture and you could pick any colour, basically, would they sell more to farmers? Right, quick, 30 seconds, spin round. I actually don't know much about these machines. Four spools in the back, one must be linked to the front. Or is that the pickup hitch? I don't know if it's got mid mounts in the cab or whether it's taken off the back. Airbags, are they airbags? Air suspension on the cab, quite nice. It's a nasty feature. Clevis holder. The fent doesn't have a holder for the clevis hitch. I think you can buy a bracket but it's only really the baler, so we'll just leave it next to the baler. This has got the one side that's locking stabilizer, the other side doesn't lock. But obviously, if you've got that side locked and you've got a machine on, this one can't move. 650 tires that are on it, battery box down there. There's a front PTO on it, and the suspension, it's similar to the Fent, it's a wishbone style suspension on the front, and the rams are in here. I think that's the rams M for suspending the front end. Uh, and I've not got a key to get inside it. Told them just to take the key. Tiny toolbox. We've all got tiny toolboxes. Anyway, there's an orange tractor for you. Opinions? Do you like it? I'm sure it'll be a good sturdy machine. It's a four cylinder, not a six. Um, 170 horsepower, four cylinder. I think they're coming out with an, an M8 version. So that's an M7. I think they're coming out with an M8, which is a six cylinder. I don't know whether, I don't know when it's due to come out. I spoke to the guy and he was saying they sell quite a few to like non-farming industry so they sold like a big bunch to an airport recently for shifting snow and and then a lot of like the landscaping guys are used to like Kubota diggers, Kubota lawnmowers, Kubota this that so they kind of go towards a tractor as well whereas in farming there's not much Kubota kit about diggers are pretty well established but there's not much else Kubota stuff so it's not a brand you kind of associate with farming so I think that's probably why they're not selling loads to farmers at the moment. Our neighbour's got one actually. They've got a front loader on it, use it for stock. Looks a good machine. It's Japanese built, it will be good. There you go, so there's the same wishbone style suspension on the fent here, but the rams are mounted behind the axle. And on the Kubota, the rams are in front of the axle. Cheers for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. That's the Gate Lady's car. Gate Lady's away on her holidays. We'll maybe get a wee snippet from where she is.
Bunnett's coming soon. Maybe on, I think Tuesday, I'll update you on what's happening. And I think you might be able to buy some on Tuesday. Like this video, there's a wee thumbs up icon somewhere down there. And subscribe as well. And if you want a bonnet, keep an eye out on Tuesday.